Hey everyone, Elliot with Cabernet Corp here. I've got Bob Burton, owner of Burton Vineyards with us. And um, thank you for so much for joining us, Bob. We really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, Elliot. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too, you too. Um, so I just wanted you to jump into a little bit about the, the metal label range and um, how, how that got to be going and, and where it's coming from. All right, well, the metal label was really uh, about finding um, a way to reward a style of wine that we wanted to make and present it in a way that was 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 unique. Mm -hmm. um, so my early experience with wine was with an Amarone, uh, which uh, I didn't really. If I go back to the early days, I didn't know anything about wine, but I, I had I had this Amarone and. Uh, it just blew me away. So that's the mindset up here as to what red wine is all about. And for us, the Black Shiraz, when we started to put that together, was always about over delivery of uh, intense flavors. So we we would pick it really quite late. Mm -hmm. It was always in the 14 and 15% so that we got the concentration. So we got the intense flavors that I was looking for because that, that's, what, that's what my expectation was. Um, and in doing so, we then found we developed sort of a unique style or relatively unique style for the time. And I wanted a label that was, again, unique. So we experimented with putting, you know, metal labels on because nobody was doing it and it was very difficult. Yeah. So we started doing it by hand and then we invented the machinery to apply it mechanically and so on. So And, and those, are, those are real metal labels. They're, they're pewter or 100% pewter nearly? They're a tin, tin, tin and, and lead, but it's pewter, yeah. So that yeah. combination, exactly what it is. And it's, it's thick, it's heavy, you know, it's difficult to work with. Um, and you can sort of try to copy it by, you know, making paper or whatever, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel the same. I wanted it to be tactile as well. So we've always gone through the trouble of, of doing it this way. And again, I think it's, um, it, it, it gives us a... a it gives substance to what's in the bottle. You know, sure. I know labels, there's a million labels out there and perhaps sometimes we get overexcited about them, but <laughs> I think it's what's in the bottle. I wanted to make sure that people were at least attracted to give the wine a try because I think the wine's really special, so. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's a great package and definitely the wine, wine backs it up. I really like the metal. And then, I mean, the weight of the bottle too, once they get it in their hand, it's, it's just a, it's a really nice package overall. Yeah, correct. I mean, we, you know, everybody tries, you know, we try to save money and make things cheaper and all the rest of it. Well, that's not what this is about. So it's about making sure that we're all the way through the, the, the wine and it's packaging are consistent and they lend substance to the substance to the whole thing. Absolutely. So, well, well, thank you so much for joining me. The package definitely over delivers for the price and um, can't wait to talk to you a little bit about each of the wines. Thank you. Absolutely.